All right, this lesson is going to be pretty quick because this is going to be a review. Calculations with reactions. Now, we tested on this. If you kept up with words, this is actually what is called stoichiometry, but I really don't use that word. Um, these, the, here's an example of a reaction. Let's say that I had six moles of this. If I'm correct, I can calculate all of these answers in moles. Again, this is review. We've learned this before because it's all about moles. If I can keep things in moles, then I can calculate anything I need. So in this example, here's what happens. If uh, 6 divided by 3, that's a multiple of 2, everybody's going to change by a multiple of 2. So this answer is 2 moles. This answer is 6 moles. This answer is 4 moles. They all multiply by 2. If I, so if I started here, so I'll put a square around that. If I started here at 17 moles, all right, well, this is a 1. I know it's a 1. It's understood to be a 1. 17 divided by 1 is a difference of 17. So 17 times 2 is 34. 17 times 3 is 51 moles and 51 moles. And we've done this before. As long as everything is in moles, we can work it. If we wanted to work a problem like this, where, let me just take this out and start over real quick. If I wanted, if I had weird numbers, like uh, let's say that this was 19.2 moles. Again, just doing what we've been doing. I t you take your handy dandy calculator and you take 19.2 divided by 3. So 19.2 divided by 3 and that's a change of 6.4 and you multiply everybody by that. So this is 6.4 this one's 19.2 because these are both threes and 6.4 times that is 12.8 they're all in moles. Calculations with reactions it's all about moles. Now if you're given something that's not moles we learned how to do that also if you had a hundred grams of something like that, we know that that's not right. So what we do is we take 100 grams, railroad track grams to moles, whatever number we get right here, we divide by 3 and multiply by everybody because now we're in moles. That's how it works. Now, all of the calculations work here because these are not all gases. Now, in the last couple of units that you've just watched, we've been talking about how to calculate using gases. Well, we're about to apply that in the next video. The mathematics is all the same. It doesn't change at all. But a lot of times, you're not going to have just straight moles of a gas or grams of a gas. Many times, it's going to be in milliliters or liters. And so we're going to learn how to calculate with them. The calculations are all the same, but this is a quick review. Remember, it's all about moles to do calculations with any kind of reactions. It doesn't matter what the coefficients are. If you're in moles, you can calculate any of them. In the next video, we're going to try out a couple of those.